Time U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson was in England today paying tribute to the 22 victims of the bombing. During a trip to London, Tillerson also said that the United States takes full responsibility for the leaking of information from Britain's investigation of the attack. The breach led the U.K. to briefly stop sharing intelligence with the U.S. Nine people have now been arrested in connection with the bombing. CBS 4's Tina Krauss has the latest from London. Martin Het was one of 22 people killed when a suicide bomber attacked fans at an Ariana Grande concert Monday night. When I think of Martin, all I can think of is smiling because I have just so many fond and really funny memories. To raise money for victims' families, people across Manchester are getting tattoos of a bee, the city's unofficial symbol. Worshippers at a local mosque were urged Friday to report anyone seeking to be radicalized. We could not really sleep that night knowing that this happened to the uh, in Manchester. Police raided a barber shop where the bomber, 22 year old Salman Abidi, was seen frequently. It's been empty since the bombing. We've made many arrests so far. We've still got eight men in custody. Armed police are patrolling transit hubs and trains as part of a big security boost around Britain. The terror threat in the UK remains at its highest level of critical, but Londoners say they won't let fear get in their way. You always look, keep an eye out, but actually people are really kind and um, I'm not scared at all. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson signed a book of condolences to the victims in a joint appearance in London with Britain's foreign secretary. All of America's prayers are with those who have lost loved ones. Ariana Grande has announced she will return to Manchester for a benefit concert for victims. Tina Krause, CBS News, London.